password reset on a Cisco ASRA. Make sure that your console lead is connected from the serial socket of your laptop or PC into the console port of your ASRA device. I'm using COM8 here because I'm using a USB to serial converter and just to prove that I can actually connect. As you can see I can connect quite happily but what I can't do is go to enable mode because I don't know the password. To rectify that we're going to need to blank the password and then manually change it. So if you reboot the ASA and while it is booting press escape or control break if you're using hyperterminal and when it boots to ROMMON mode you need to execute a confreg command to see what the configuration register is set to. Now that big hexadecimal number there we're going to need to take note of. The best thing to do is copy it and drop it into notepad because we'll be needing that later on. Okay, do you wish to change this configuration? Yes we do. Now for the rest of them you can either simply press enter or type in N. No, no for flash boot. No for flash image index. Yes for disable system configuration. And then no or enter for the rest of the options. And what you will see is the configuration register has now changed. So essentially what it will do now is it will boot, it will load the operating system, but it won't load the config. So we need to boot our asset. Simply type in boot and it will load the operating system as configured from its flash memory. The only difference being because it hasn't got a config or anything in it, when you go to enable mode now, there is no password. It is simply blank. So press enter and we're now in enable mode. Now it doesn't have your config in it, so the next thing we're going to want to do is to drag your config out of flash memory and load it into RAM with a copy startup dash config space running dash config command. Yep, just press enter. And after a few seconds, that's it loaded in. But remember, it's still got your old passwords in there, which you don't know, so you need to manually reset them. We're going to make a config change, so go to configure terminal mode or just type in conf space t. And the syntax for resetting your password, the enable password is enable space password and then the password that you require. And I'm also going to change uh, the telnet strong ssh password. Remember the syntax for that is pa double s w d and then the password that you require. If you use AAA, you can also do a user, username, password, password as well. Now we're going to need to reset the config register back to what it should be, i.e. load your config when it boots. The command from within the iOS is config-register and then the number which you copied to Notepad earlier, you can simply copy and paste that back in. So your ASA will now boot normally. Remember to save your changes before you reboot with either a write mem or a copy run start. Now just to prove that that's done what we think it's going to do, I'm going to reboot the ASA with a reload command. And when it comes back up, we should be able to log in with our new password. 
I'll speed this up a little. Okay, go to enable mode, and when we're prompted for the password, type in the one that we've just set, and hopefully that's us logged in at enable mode. Just to prove it, do a show run. And if we so wish, we can view the running config with your newly configured passwords. And that's us all done. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.petnetlive.com.